Unlike other phone systems, the Avea IP Office system will. Unlike other phone systems, the Avea IP Office platform will automatically create a mailbox for any users on the system. However, if you would like to edit this mailbox, you will need to access it through the users section. So connect to your IP Office system and then on the left hand side navigate to user. Select the user of the mailbox that you'd like to modify. And then on the right hand side select the voicemail tab. You will notice that voicemail on is already ticked. If you'd like to disable voicemail, simply untick this box. The voicemail help option will play back a message detailing what option one, option two, option three, etc. actually do within the mailbox. To enable remote messaging, you'll need to enter a voicemail code. This is a PIN number that the mailbox will use when trying to be accessed. You must also confirm the voicemail code in the box below. If you would like to use voicemail to email on the Avenger IP office, simply enter a voicemail email address for this user in the voicemail email field and then select what you would like to do. So in the voicemail email section, uh, you have the options to disable, to copy, which will send a message to the email address with a copy of the message and also into the user's mailbox, activating the message wasting indicator on the phone. You can forward, which will only send the message to the email address and will not alert the phone. Or you can alert, which will only send the email to the mailbox and then send an email to the voicemail email address advising that the user should check their voicemail. Once you're happy with these changes, hit the OK button in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and then save your configuration back to the system using the save icon in the upper left. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on Avaya Voicemail. However, if you have any further queries, please feel free to contact us.